What's up guys, Matthew Mouse Bowles, and today the camera's on the right side of my phone. Anyway, uh, we're going to be tier listing Mario Kart 8 tracks. So, I, I've, I've done a few tier lists. I like tier lists because it gives me a chance to just talk about something and put my thoughts onto paper, so to speak. So, I like doing these, they're fun. And I thought with the Mario Kart 8 DLC coming out, why not rank Mario Kart 8 tracks? Because I've been playing 8 recently. Uh, I've played a lot of 8 in the past, but I've been getting back into it recently, and I thought this would be fun. So uh, I totally didn't reset anything by a recording which I went three minutes and didn't do anything. Um, this was already made, how it is. I just changed the colors of it and added the Tear Maker Jail because I expected to be a good amount of lists at the top in case I want to save this. And I kid you not, Toad's Turnpike was already sitting here. I moved the track, but the tier itself was there. And I thought that was hilarious. Super boring, in my opinion. So, first off, uh, we'll go in order. I guess we'll go in alphabetical order. Or do I want to go in order with the cups? Let's go in order of the cups, that's more fun. So Mario Kart Stay will be first. I think this is a solid A tier. I find Mario Kart Stay to be pretty fun. I'm trying to think in like actual gameplay, because me and my friend play bombs only, uh, especially in Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 on the, well now with the cut, now it's there's a bit less of a reason, uh, but even the, the Wii U version gives you bombs in first. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe doesn't, it gives you only coins. You can only get coins in first bombs, but we like bombs only because it's fun. Just, you know, it's chaotic, and we just play against the CPUs um, and have a good time. And it's a good track for that, but just general racing, I think it's a good first track. It's one of the better ones. I like Toad Circuit, and I like, uh, um, what is it? I like Luigi Circuit. I would hope if they brought back Luigi Circuit, they made, like, that last turn anti-gravity or something. Uh, figure eight circuits are really boring. Maybe they could make that super anti-gravity. They brought it. Anyway, Mario Kart Stadium, for now I'm going to put an A tier. It's a good first track. Next after that is Sweet Sweet Canyon, and that is not a D tier, I just have to scroll up. That is an S tier for sure. I love Sweet Sweet Canyon. One of my favorite tracks in the game. I'm a big fan of shortcuts, or for a grass cut, I like shortcuts that you can really take precisely, and there's nothing like the feeling of going under that donut and cutting the turn perfectly. Also fun track for bombs only. Oh wait, no, I forgot Water Park. Water Park's, um, Water Park's D tier. It's not a bad course or anything, it's just, you yeah. know. Actually, I'm gonna move Mario Kart State under D, because there's probably gonna be a lot of things I wanna put above it. Water Park's D. It's not bad or anything, I just think there's better courses. I'm not sure there's a lot of bad courses in this game. I think they're overall pretty good. Oh, maybe I should actually put C though, because it's, yeah, I'm gonna put it to C. I'm gonna move it up to C, because I'm looking at the list and I'm thinking, well, you know what, that might be below it. And then, uh, last but not least, Thwomp Ruins. Um, that is also going into the S tier, at least for now. I really like Thwomp Ruins as well. I love the shortcut at the end. This is another one where you can, like, kind of drift and drift over the ramp and trick, and it's fun. Yes, there is a light over in that direction, so I'm putting a shadow on myself when I do that. Okay, cup below it. That is Mario Circuit. No, Moo Meadows, Mario Circuit. Um, Desert Track, Dry Dry Desert, and there's another one. Cheap Cheap Beach, okay. I'll start with Cheap Cheap Beach. I'm putting that in D. I don't really love playing Cheap Cheap Beach. It's one of my least favorites in the game. Uh, not, not, yeah, it's not a bad track, but it's it's my one of my least favorites. Uh, Jisa and Dry Dry Desert, I'm also sticking here. I think it's a bit better on 200cc, where everything moves quicker. Its turns are, it's a desert course, but its turns aren't like super tight, except for maybe that one section. But Dry Dry Desert's just kind of slow. It's kind of slow. Its turns are a bit big for the most part on 150cc. I'm... I like in Mario Kart 8... I actually... Hot take. Probably. I like Mario Kart 8 Wii U. Like, the base Mario Kart 8. I like the battle system more. I like... I like battle mode on the actual tracks. I think it's fun having people going, you know, two different directions on actual tracks. I think that's cool. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I'm a big fan of that, actually. Uh, but yeah, for battle mode, love it. But this is a battle mode. <laughs> I liked that one. I liked Moo Meadows, and I liked um, SNES Donut Plains 3. Those were my favorites for that battle mode. I need to play like the Wii U one. It's been a while, it's just because it's easier to play the Switch. It's easier to set the Switch up and do all of that. Uh, the controller is more better for two players because I've got my own controller, which happens to be right here. I've been playing custom tracks because I got them again, thanks to our internet being actually fast enough to not freeze um, when I try to load it up. And then uh, 
the gamepad. So okay, moving on. So it's Mario Circuit. I'm a big fan of Circuit Courses, but I'm still gonna put this one in the C tier because I think there's just better courses in this game. But Circuit, basic Circuit Courses like that, that like actually look like a circuit or like a road race in NASCAR, I like those. But it's still C tier because it's not like, even like SNES Mario Circuit, I always like the music and stuff, but that's not really that high. The one that would be is Mario Kart 7's, I think it's Mario Circuit 2. Uh, that one, I believe it's 3 as in um, Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii. I'm, I get some things confused because there's also the Bowser's Castles. Um, the short Bowser's Castles at 7. It's BC3 and Wii. I know that. And I forget if, I think it's 1. 1 is in, I think 2's in DS, 1's in 7, and then 4 is the one that hasn't been remade. I would expect, I actually think we'd probably see SNES Bowser Castle in the DLC, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw GCNs as well, because we had N64 and a SNES one, and then we haven't had any in this. Could be GBA too. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know what a GBA Bowser Castle is offhand. Anyway, Moo Moo Meadows. I'm going to put that in B tier, because it's a Marker Wii course, and I love Marker Wii. <laughs> so, <laughs> then the next cup would be, let's look. What's in the next cup? Mario Circuit. <coughs> Mario Circuit, Shy Guy Falls, Toad Harbor, and Twisted Mansion. This is actually a pretty good Mario Circuit. Another one I'm going to move up. I'm still going to put it in a B tier, though. I think there's just better tracks than it. But it's a good Mario Circuit. It's a lot of fun. That's how you do a figure eight. <laughs> then Toad Harbor. I think I'm going to put Toad Harbor in B tier. I like Toad Harbor. Toad Harbor is a fun track. I think I'll do the same for Twisted Mansion. And I'm gonna put Shy Guy Falls up into S. I really like Shy Guy Falls. That's definitely up there for favorites. Twisted Mansion, Toad Harbor are just overall fun tracks. It was a really, really strong flower cup in this, uh, this game. And I think it's a really strong mushroom cup too. Uh, we had Moo Meadows, which is good. And Luigi Circuit, good. But it had Mushroom Gorge and Toad Factory, which were really great. But this has Tooting Air Fall Runes, which were also really great. And Mario Kart Stadium, it's probably at Water Park, probably a little bit more fun than original Luigi Circuit and um, Moon Meadows. But yeah, Twisted Mansion Toad Harbor, a lot of fun. I enjoy playing them. And Shy Guy Falls, I just like enjoy, I enjoyed it a bit more. So the couple of that, that's Donut Plains along with. Royal Raceway, DK Jungle, and one other course. Which one is it? That's the question. Um, looking through these, I'm not seeing which one it is. Okay, what am I overlooking here? Snus Donut Plains. It's Snus Donut Plains. Wait, was Dry Dry Desert? Oh, wait, Dry Dry Desert was in this cup, wasn't it? It's Mario Circuit. GB Rosary, Cheap Cheap Beach, Toad's Turnpike, that's what it is. Dry Dry Desert's in the Banana Cup. Okay, Stess Donut three, Plains 3, I'm gonna put it in B tier, I think. I really like, this is one that could, I don't wanna make any more tiers. I might put this one in A though. This one's a lot of, I, I really like playing this track. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put it in A. I think it's a fun track to drive with the underwater, you can take some shortcuts and stuff. I'm gonna put it in A, that's a fun track. That's really good, like, easy track. Uh, Royal Raceway, I am... Royal Raceway is a better raceway. I'm putting in S tier. I, I, I really like raceway tracks. That one's a lot of fun. DK Jungle is great on bombs only. I think it's going to be an A tier though, because I'm trying to look at these overall and not just bombs only, where it's got that really fun flying section where you just throw bombs. I'm going to put it in A tier. I think it's a good course. I don't think it's as good as Royal Raceway though. I really like Royal Raceway. I'm a big fan of that one. Then, okay, moving on to the the Star Cup, that's what it is. So the Star Cup is home to Dolphin Shoals, Sunshine Airport, where the Mount Wario, and Electric Room. This is the strongest cup in the game. Sunshine Airport is an easy A tier. Uh, Dolphin Shoals is an easy S tier for me. Electric Room, I'm gonna call an A tier. Mount Wario, I'm gonna call an S tier. That's I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I like Electrodrome. It's a lot of fun. I don't think it's I think it's a tier below the other ones for me, but it's really good. So Sunshine Airport. Both of those are fantastic tracks. This is such a good Star Cup. 
Dolphin Shoals is one of my favorites, and I love the music. Um, some of the best music in the game. Electric Dream also is really music. And the Mount War is a really fun, like, long course. There's a couple of those in Mario Kart. I think 7 is the first one that had one. No, no. Well, in 64, Rainbow Road was originally, you know, actual laps and stuff. So the first true one were the Woohoo ones, I believe, in Mario Kart 7. And then Mount Warrior on this game and made in 64 Rainbow Road, which I disagree with. I think they should have just made, like, a two-lap track because it's way too short. And it's, like, a minute in. Or it's, it's, a uh, it's a bit over a minute. The record's probably under a minute, but for an average player, it's a bit over a minute, I think. Well, I've time traveled once, so maybe I could get my time down to under a minute. I don't know. It was, like, 103 or something, I think. I forget. Uh, anyway, but it's a really great just one long course that's separated into three sections. Okay, so the next cup would be the Leaf Cup, and that is that's Music Park. No, that's the next cup. Music Park, Sherbet Land, Wario Stadium, and Yoshi Valley. Okay, this cup is weaker, definitely weaker. So Music Park is first. I'm gonna put it in B tier. I like the shortcut at the very end, but this one's not my favorite. But the shortcut, the shortcut's gonna uh, up it for me. I think I do like playing it more than more, like Mario Circuit Mario Park though. So yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Then Sherbet Land, I'm also in B tier. It looks really good and I like the music. This is another one though. I think it's just in the, more in the middle for me. For how much I enjoy playing it. Then, Final Plant Side is the next cup. Warrior Stadium, also gonna put B tier. It's a bit awkward. It's a little bit awkward, though this is a weird one. I really like Waluigi Stadium, g and Waluigi Stadium, the Wii, but even the custom track feels a little bit weird, and in this one with all the anti-gravity, it's cool, but it also just feels a little bit weird. I, I don't want, I don't think it's high enough for me to put an A tier, but it's definitely not C tier. C, -t C tier is, is C tier gonna get any more tracks? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yoshi Valley. Actually, yeah, it is. I'm gonna put Yoshi Valley in C tier. There's a cool hairpin turn shortcut, and it's not in this game. And I know kind of what the fast route is, so it's a cool idea. But given that you know there is a fast route, that kind of takes some of the luster off of all the different directions. So I'm gonna go into Yoshi Valley. This would be perfect if it was like um in Mario Kart 8 that we've done a few times in regular, where you can go over the cannon and then you can have a bomb behind you and you can set down bombs and drop them on people and that's fun, but that's not really. Again, because you can only get coins in first on bombs only. It's bombs only, you can only get coins in first. How, that is just, that makes zero sense. Anyway, you could still get coins, but it was more, I guess, you could, you you every now and then you get only coins or something on a race in first place and bombs only. But it wouldn't be, it wasn't likely. It happened every now and then, I think. You just get a coin. But this one, it's guaranteed. But that was that was a fun section, and it, we did it like that. But anyway, as I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to bait these more of general racing and not me and my friend playing bombs only, because it's, you know, chaotic and fun. I put it in the DC tier. Not a favorite. Okay, now we have the special cup. Bowser's Castle, Cloudtop Cruise, Rainbow Road, and what was the other course? Trying to plant one else. That's, that's the one below it. That's the uh, lightning cup. Bone dry dunes. Um, bone dry dunes. I'm gonna put in C as well. It's we were. It's kind of fun to drive, but it's so bumpy. It's a little bit not as fun to drive. It's just yeah. That's like, that one section is just super bumpy. That even turns. It's, it's difficult. I like the difficultness of it, but it's also kind of obnoxious. Um, so I'm gonna put it in C tier. I don't love desert tracks overall the most anyway. So Cloudtop Cruise, I think I'm gonna put in B tier. Cloudtop Cruise is pretty fun. I like the shortcut at the end as well. I always like shortcuts at the end. I don't know why. Well, no, it's just those are fun ones because Cloudtop Cruises can be with how okay, as someone who doesn't play Mario Kart a ton, Mar uh, Cloudtop Cruises can be annoying to like set up sometimes. Uh because there's a lot of times where like maybe I'll go into like a bit of a drift and I'll stop drifting and then you keep momentum going that direction you just go off the edge stuff like that and that's stuff that you know if you get used to it's easier but things like I, I don't know I just like switch the cannon shortcut at the end I like Thwomp Ruins shortcut at the end Music Parks is fun in the end because it's you know you drift tightly go over a ramp but it can be easy to drift and let go of your mini turbo and then 
go into the wall instead or you you uh you go over the thing and you bounce like di or fit you you drift and then you bounce diagonally and hit the wall and then or out of bounds or out of the grass okay bowser's castle i'm gonna add this to b tier as well and i think i'm gonna add rainbow road to b tier rainbow road is really nothing going on it's just a lot of curves and i don't like how it looks either i like the idea of a space station but with how they did it, it's all the panels I think N64 and SNES look better because SNES is really glowing in the little pan of the panels. Um, I think that's what SNES was, it was blocks of color. And in 64s they, they kept that style through everything, right? SNES was out of the DLC, but they kept that style. It's a bunch of blocks, like it's a grid. That's a black, dark gray glue grid. And they all have colored squares in them, but you can still see the black slash dark gray. N64s are dark colors and they work really well. SNES Rainbow Roads are really glowy. Um, regular Rainbow Roads, I guess, glow, but they're a bit brighter and they just don't look as good. Especially with the dark black, they don't glow enough uh, to me. And it's really just curves. That's all it is. There's a cool shortcut in it, but it's really just curves. Same with Bone Dunes. Bone Dry, well, Bone Dry Dunes, I guess, has a little bit too, because you have the glider section, or you have glider section in this. But there's that upper road. I don't know. I, I think I don't like Bone Dry as much, but Rainbow Road has less going. I find okay. I find Rainbow Road more fun to drive than Bone Dry Dunes. Bone Dry Dunes is more going on than Rainbow Road. This Rainbow Road does not have a lot going on. Like Wii's for comparison, you start and you go straight down, and you have boost panels, then you curve, boost panels, go again, and then you have the wavy road. Then you've got the figure eight, and there's the um, ramps you go up on the side, which eight doesn't have, though it should because that was a great feature. Then you have um, a couple turns, and there's a cannon. And the cannon's actually going upwards, basically, and then you. Uh, it's weird because you almost don't think of it, but when you look at the track from like a distance, the cannon goes like this. And then you go onto a uh, a side thingy where you have again another ramp and it takes you, takes you like this. And then you have the two split rows and there's boost panels and you can cut between the two roads, at least on one, from one of them. I think you cut onto the other, like the short, the record does it. The non-glitch record does it. And then you have that last turn with the boost panels as well. And that, you know, if you're an outside drift especially, it can be difficult because you can go over a boost panel, drift more outward to get the other one and then go off the edge or something. Um, great Rainbow Road. This Rainbow Road has nothing going on in it. It is maybe my least favorite Rainbow Road. It's fun to drive just because it's curvy, but that's not- Rainbow Road should not be the course that's fun to drive just because it's curvy, you know? Leave that to a circuit or something. And then, uh, the Lightning Cup. Okay, TikTok Clock. I actually don't really- TikTok Clock was one of my favorites in DS. I really don't like it in this game all that much. It's one of my least favorites. There's some cool things about it, but I'm, I'm gonna stick it in the D tier. I think I'd rather play Mario Circus Water Park. Uh, Piranha Plant Slide, I'm also gonna put down here. I don't find that one as fun, especially on 200cc. There's a lot of points where I want to trick off of it. Like, there's that, before you go into the big pipe, you have a ramp, and then it curves, there's a ramp, and then it curves, and you go down in the big pipe. I always want to trick off that ramp, but it can be difficult, and I don't like that. I like, I like being able to trick, I don't like having to avoid the ramps, because it's impossible or more difficult to make a turn afterwards. Note this is my experience. Uh, what have I been playing recently, and I don't have a ton of experience in it. I'm pretty good at Mario Kart overall, but, um, I don't, I haven't played this song, so I'm not entirely used to its mechanics and how, you know, how drifting is compared to other Mario Kart games. So there's some that it might be really easy, but I'm just not good at it yet. But Prime Planet Slide, I just don't find this fun. And then, Grumble Volcano and Rainbow Road. Okay, Grumble Volcano is an easy S tier. I love Grumble Volcano. Is it as good as Wii's? No, there's, the shortcuts aren't there. But it's still Grumble Volcano. I love Grumble Volcano. Then Rainbow Road in 64. I'm gonna put this one in A tier because I really like it. I like it aesthetically. I think it still should be two laps at least, or all three laps, make it really long. But uh, I don't like that the Flops are doing this for Rainbow Road. It's an interesting idea. I just think Flops coming at you is better than that. I think they should have just made Wavy Road like Mario Kart Wii's has, and then have flumps that, you know, come towards you. And then, uh, the other thing about it is it's, there's no shortcuts on it. Like, at least Rainbow Road has shortcuts. And on 200cc, you know, the turns would be really tight and stuff like that. N64 doesn't have that at all, so it's difficult to catch up on. And that's a problem. So I'm going to put an A tier, because I really like it, but it's got issues. Okay, the next cup. So there's four more. The question is, which is in which? And I don't entirely know. Hmm. See, Baby Park is with Wild Woods and Big Blue, I believe. I think Neo Bowser City is with Rainbow Road and maybe Snowstorm Rainbow Road. 
I'm not sure. You know what? I'm just going to rate these. I'm just going to choose them. Baby Park is going to go into... I'm actually not... I'm not going to put the Toadstone right here. I need to look at this. I don't know. It's really hectic. But I think you could argue that it's more hectic. And is it more hectic in this game than GCN? No, because you don't have like mega shells and stuff like that. And it's really short. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna stick it in D tier because like, I, I'm glad that it's in the game, and I like that it's in the game, and I do like playing it. But compared to the other tracks, like I'm not gonna time trial Baby Park. That's boring as heck, you know. And I do, I do like time trialing. So I'm gonna put it in D tier because it's a good track, and I'm glad it's in there. But by itself. I don't think it's the greatest. Then, let's see, what other track here? This is a bit difficult. I'm gonna grab Dragon Driftway. I'm gonna put it in C tier too. It's, it's kind of like Bungie Dunes. It's really curvy, kind of fun to drive. I just like other tracks more than it. Um, Cheese Land, I'm gonna put a tier above in B, and I think I'm gonna put Riven Road also a tier above in B. I find that them, they're also kind of curvy. Cheese Land's a bit bumpy as well. It's got the Got the little craters with cheeses. But I enjoy playing Cheese Land and Ribbon Road more than Bone Joy Dudes and Dragon Driveway. So I'm gonna stick them there. Um Ice Ice Outpost, I'm going to put in the C tier, though it's been I'm liking it more than I used to. But it's still it's still not my favorite or anything. But I'm liking it a bit more, but I'm still gonna stick at the C with Dragon Drifter and Bone Joy Dunes. Then let's see. Super Bell Subway, I'm going to stick in C tier. I've, another one I've been enjoying more recently because I've started to real, uh, learn a bit just generally where the sub sub uh, the trains are at different points. Uh, but I, I don't really... I don't, I don't love it still. Okay, next. So we've got a few more. Or by few, I mean we've got like a dozen more. <laughs> we've got ten. <laughs> um, should I... What should I put next? I'm going to put Hyrule Circuit down. I'm gonna say that's another C tier. It's a solid course, not bad. All, all Everything in C is solid and not bad. D is more of the ones that I don't like as much. They're not the worst, but I just don't like them as much. You know, more personal preference. And Baby Park. It's just really hard to rank a course like Baby Park, which is kind of just different from everything else. And then need one more to rank, and then I can just keep it like this and not have to move it. <laughs> so what are we gonna choose from these to rank? Hmm. I think I'm gonna put Snesser and Brood in B tier. That's a good course. Not the best, not the worst. Good B tier. So now we have Animal Crossing, Big Blue, Excite Bike, F Zero, Big or F Zero, Mood City, um, Neo Bowser City, or Goldmine Wild Woods and Yoshi Circuit. I think I'm gonna put Animal Crossing as well in B tier. No, I'm gonna put Animal Crossing in A tier because the summer and spring are kind of boring, but the fall and winter look amazing, and they're just so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I'm gonna move them up a tier because they're 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 good. They're good. And I think I think I like playing them a bit more than some of the tracks below them. Though looking at this now, I almost want to move. I kind of want to move some things around, and maybe I'll move it down later. And that caused another line, so that's tier's cut off rip. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see. I'm putting Neo Bowser City in a tier. That's another one that's a lot of curves. I think it's even more fun to drive though than the other two because of its. It's I like it. I like the. I like that it's smooth and off road. It's not bumpy off road like Bone Dry Tunes. It's smooth and curvy. But it's got the the wet, so you drift outside. So I'm gonna put it in B or A tier. I like I like playing it a lot. I'm gonna put Mute City in A tier as well. I then put Excite Bike in B tier. So Excite Bike is also pretty simple, but I love that it's got a bunch of ramps in it, and it's fun taking the ramps. So uh, there's there's it's also really fun when you go over a ramp and you throw a bomb in the way ahead of you. <laughs> but I like um I like playing on Excite Bike because I just love ramps and it's all ramps. Uh, Mute City is a lot of fun. It's not as good as Big Blue, but it's a lot of fun. It's a good course. And these last ones, these last four, these are the S tier ones. So 
I will put, let's put down Yoshi Valley here. Let's put or Gold Mine here. Rough Warrior. I really like Wild Woods. I like time trialing Big Blue. These, these are in the S2 for sure. I love playing Yoshi Circuit. That is my favorite of the circuit courses, a bit more than Royal Raceway. They're still in the same tier. Wario's Gold Mine is. I. It was not. I it used to suck at Wii. And then me and my friend, we like played a bit and we got the courses. I think I dominated on BC3. And maybe it was Grumble? And he was. Got, you know, there were Warriors Gold Mine and another one, but basically, there was a few courses that we weren't as good at, and then we played them, and you're like, you know what? I think we've, we're starting to get this down. Anyway, I it's not my favorite in Mario Kart Wii. It's good, but it's not my favorite, but I really enjoyed it in this game. Is it better than Mario Kart Wii? I'm not sure because as I've started to play Mario Kart Wii more just as I've gotten older, it's grown on me in Mario Kart Wii, but I really like it in Mario Kart 8. It's a great Mario Kart 8 course. Wild Woods and Big Blue are like my two favorites in the game, basically. Well, Grumble as well. I really like Grumble because it's, it's a Grumble game. But uh, Wild Woods, I really enjoy playing. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's one of those that if me and my friend are just playing, we could do, we could, we could with 48 courses or however many we do, we could just do Wild Woods a bunch of times over and over again. Even if it means not playing other courses, play Wild Woods a bunch of times over and over because it's fun. I'd rather play Wild Woods four times than play Wild Woods and then like Dry Dry Deserts and like Tick Tock Clock. At least in Bomb Zone, like Prime Plant Slide. Um, Sheep, sheep, beach have some fun sections, but some that's the other thing is like when bombs bombs only is not as good in this. Not just because you don't get them at first, but it also means some courses are a lot better, 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 better as you front run and putting bombs out behind you, and you don't have that at all. So some don't have really good throwing places, and that just kills them when we play that. Anyway, that's just me and my friend. We play bombs only. It's a lot of fun, and we streamed it one time, and we might do more because we used to play Mario Kart Seven as well, and we do it in eight still. So maybe we'll. I want to record sometime, it's just a matter of, uh, we usually go over to his place and not come over to my place. So, and I've got the capture card and all that. Maybe I'll learn how to set it up or something, I don't know. That could be fun. And then Big Blue. I love Big Blue. Uh, it's a toss-up between Wild Woods. I like playing Wild Woods in multi like multiplayer against other people or against CPUs with friends. I like time trialing Big Blue a lot. I got my time down to, uh, sub 108 time. I know that like the record comparison right is like what, like one minute or something. I don't know how they do the shortcuts. Like I can't do that cool one where you go um yeah after the gl after the glider at the beginning of the water section where you have the two routes and you go off of one and then you just like glide sideways. Um and the course does like this and you glide into the course below. I don't know how to do that. And the record also is another shortcut where they just like go off the edge and land right before the glider ramp. I don't know how to do that one. Uh, but you got the glider ramp and after that you've got the water and it turns and you can go on top of the bottom and i think it's the record you go to the bottom route and then at that first turn where the wall ends you go off of that and then you cut off a bunch but i really like time traveling with blue it's a lot of fun i can't do those extreme shortcuts but it's still fun it's still fun trying to get my time lower and optimizing it and yeah this is my mario kart 8 deluxe tier list and the question is do i want to move anything looking at it are there any tracks i want to move up or move down I'm kind of, I kind of want to move Mario Kart Stadium up, if I'm being honest. I, I really like Mario Kart Stadium. Okay, we'll do this and then do this, because that's easier. And I don't want to move Moomoo Meadows up as well. I just kind of want to move Moomoo Meadows up, because I really like Moomoo Meadows. It's very basic, but... It, no, Moomoo Meadows is a good size of planes, though. Mario Kart Stadium? Is that right? Mm -hmm. I do want to move Animal Crossing down. Is that a thought? I'm moving Animal Crossing, even though it looks real, I'm moving Crossing back down to B. Do I want to keep Mario Kart Stadium in A, now that I've just moved it? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to bump it up to A. I think it's better than Mario Circuit. The, the, uh, the Mar I think Mario Kart Stadium is better than Mario Circuit. Very much fun. I think, I think it's, a really, it's a really good first track. It's a lot of fun. Cool turns and stuff. I like it. I think I'm going to keep everything else. Maybe Mario Kart Stadium could move back down or something. Like those are the ones that are a bit, you know, not not entirely sure about. But yeah, this is my tier list. Um, Toad's Turnpike's in the bottom tier. You just can't see it. That's okay. <laughs> Toad's Turnpike sucks. 
I really dislike it. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously... Okay, let's talk about the DLC. Actually, no. Yeah, let's talk about the DLC courses, since they're about to come out. Um, what I'm excited for with them, for this first set. I'm cautiously optimistic about the ones that debuted in Tor. A couple, like, the Ninja Hideaway looks really cool, and it looks, like, not standard, you know? Because I know since it's Mario Kart Tor, you know, I question if, what the courses are going to be like, because you can't have a Grumble Volcano, you know? Well, maybe they do race on a volcano that's like a real volcano or something, or based off of a real volcano. But I don't know Tor's courses. I I definitely wonder. I don't know how Tor works. Like, if course, I thought I heard some of that Tor courses go in and out, so this could be a way to like actually just have them in a game that stays forever. But I'm cautious optimistic because some of them I kind of wonder how they're going to be if it's you know driving a base through a city, you know, or something like that. Um, is that just going to be like not even mushrooms? Is it going to be like woohoo, you know, something similar? Um, Wu is a bit different though because it's a fictional city and the city part of it is small. So I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about them. Uh, Ninja Hideaway looks really cool because it looks more, I guess, fictional than based off of like a direct real place. But I don't know. I just, I don't know anything about Tor. I never played Tor. I didn't want the Mario Kart mobile app. Then Shroom Ridge, I'm questioning because it's a car track and like Toad's Turnpike, you have the side sections of anti-gravity. What in the world are you going to do with Shroom Ridge unless you're just bringing it over? I've also heard a lot of these reports from Tor, and they've touched them up. Um, I'll be doing a video where I play them for the first time, react, and I'll talk about that when I do. But, I... Moonview Highway is better. Let's just say that. Moonview Highway is better. And from what I played in Mario Kart Wii Custom Tracks, so is um, Mushroom City. So... I'm glad they're bringing it back because the Shroom Ridge hasn't been brought back yet, I don't think. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's in 7. I don't think it's in 7. I know, I think it got released or re-released as a custom track too recently. But I'm like, hmm. I'm not, I'm, I'm not super hopeful about that one. Then there's Toad Circuit. Toad Circuit. Okay, there's a shortcut in custom tracks, which is really cool where you go over... Uh, before the tunnel, you can go up the, the grass and go over the wall. Um, there's a place where the invisible wall isn't there, but you can also hit the invisible wall. So it's not super, like, exactly easy. I think you have to hop to hit the air. But I think it's still a good, it's still a good course. It's, I'd, I'd say, if I get, get rid of my Mario Kart Wii nostalgia for the Luigi Circuit, it's better than the Luigi Circuit. Um, it's a bit more fun. It's, a bit, there's a, it's like Luigi Circuit, I've had Luigi Circuit a bit more to it. So... That one, I'm, you know, I'm excited about it. That's that's good. I like the basic courses overall. It's nice to have some some like really basic ones. And Toad uh, Toad Circuit's a good one. Choco Mountain, I'm really curious about because that's another one that did look great from the trailer from what they showed. Though I, again, I've seen screenshots of Coconut Mall where Coconut Mall is touched up for sure, and I'm you know assuming that's every course. Uh, Co Coco Mountain, um, I played the custom track uh, recently, and. It looks really good as a custom track, so I'm very curious to see how it looks in 8. Is it gonna- I mean, it should look better, but if it was ported from Tor, maybe it doesn't look exactly better than Wii's. And how did they change it? Because, um, the one- they actually changed it a little bit. They- like, there's a ramp coming out of a section with a bit of a boardwalk, and then I think you go into the mountain section, like, where the boulders are coming down, and the custom track. So I'm curious to see what they do with this one. Um, but it's a- it's a good track, and it's got cool- there's cool- ramps at the end so i think that'll be fun gba sky garden looks like it got an overhaul just kind of like gba mario circuit you've got the anti-gravity section sky garden looks even more of an overhaul it really looks like it's in the air and because it's fully in the air not just a circuit they can do a lot with it and it looks like there's probably going to be some, a lot, uh, some anti-gravity at the very least i'm very excited for that one of my favorites in mario kart ds it's not going to have the shortcuts most likely um, I know there's like some in shortcuts like where there's ramps and stuff, but the shortcuts that aren't supposed to be in the game like where you cut off course They're probably gonna make it either bigger or it's a like it picks you up right away thing Because um, there's not a lot of room you usually just hop over it I hope they keep it so you can shroom and hop over that one shortcut where you go into the off-road hop and you're over oh, you skip some And it's not too big that that doesn't work or like it picks you up right away. That'd be really lame That's kind of part of the reason I like Yoshi Circuit as much or Yoshi Valley as much uh, Yoshi Circuit, as even though it's at, uh, S tier, they did take out that tunnel shortcut. I wish it was in the game, but it's probably because of how the game is programmed. You go off the edge. The tunnel's here. I think it's in the regular game. I know it's in custom tracks, so I'm assuming it's an actual shortcut. Maybe it's not. Wait, actually, let's. That's another one. Let's let's look that up right now. 
if I mute my computer as well. GCN Yoshi Circuit Shortcut Double Dash? I can't spell Double Dash. Okay, let's make sure that this is actually in Mario Kart. Okay, I know there's that one where you can shroom over the thingy, and you can do that in Mario Kart 8. So yeah, the uh, the tunnel shortcut is that's why I thought I thought it was in the, it was actually in the game. Uh, so the tunnel shortcut in GC Yoshi Valley isn't there, and I think that's because of how the game plays. Uh, even with like a custom track, Mario Kart Custom DK Summit, you try to do the single light here, I'd like to pick you up. I think they programmed it where you go off the edge of there and like 2 would pick you up and they just either couldn't find a way so he doesn't pick you up there, which seems odd, but maybe that's the case because it's consistent everywhere, even in the custom tracks, like they can't take that away. And that's probably what it was. He'd pick you up right away if you tried to do that shortcut if they put it in. It is missing that. But, uh, GBA Sky Garnsey may, hopefully it has it, if not, it still looks like it's going to be really good. And last but not least, Coconut Mall. Mario Kart Wii fan, Coconut Mall is in Wii, it was in 7, or introduced in Wii, it was in 7, and now it's brought back again. Very excited for that one because it's Coconut Mall. Uh, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Coconut Mall is a great track. I hope there's a lot more Wii. Really what I want is Maple Trio and Mushroom. Basically the ones they brought in 7, I want them to bring back because Maple Trio and Mushroom Gorge are amazing courses. And honestly, 7 did not do them justice. I like the big mushroom section too and not the... I don't like the big glider ramp as much. I like the big mushroom section. You want to have the gap skip, but that's okay. And then Maple Trio is just a lot of fun. Other courses from Wii that I'd like. Bring back DK Jungle. Bring back all of the one. Bring back Warrior Coliseum. You know what? I bet Warrior Coliseum is going to be back. I should predict. I should do a prediction video. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. We'll we'll cut the video off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this tier list, and I will see you guys in the next video. I've got another uh, non-Beyblade video planned, and I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, I'll see you guys later.